ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ಲೌಚ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ನಿಮಿಲಾ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿನ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆದಂಥ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ನ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ನೋಡ ಹೋಗೋಣ ನಾವು ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸೈರಬಲ್ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಈಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ more tolerance to the abiotic stresses like cold drought salinity heat etc and then insect athwa pest resistant jasti irutte reduced post harvest losses irutte and efficient mineral usage by plants will be there and enhance nutritional value example vitamin a rich rice so now bt cotton so this is bacillus thuringiensis which is a bacterium which will produce proteins to kill certain insects and such as lepido petarens which is the army worm and cleopterens which is the beetles and dipterens which is the flies and mosquitoes so b thuringiensis will produce a protein crystal containing a toxic protein which is in the inactivated state now this inactivated toxin activate uh, activated toxin will be i mean this toxin will get activated at the gut of the insect and activated toxin will bind to the epithelial cells in the midgut of the insect and creates pores which will cause lysis and swelling and eventually the organism is going to die and this toxin is encoded by a gene called cri in the bacterium and this genes encoded by cri iac and cri 2 ab will control the cotton bull worms and those encoded by cri ab will control the corn borer now toxin is encoded by a gene called cri in the bacterium and genes encoded by iac and ab will control the cotton boll worms and those are uh, will control the corn borers as i told you and cri genes are introduced into the cotton of these plants to produce bt cotton which is an insect resistant variety of cotton now rna interference which is rna i is a method adopted to prevent the infestation of the roots of tobacco plants by a nematode melatonin gene in cognitia and in rna i a complementary rna is going to bind to the mrna to form a double stranded rna which cannot translate and hence expression will be blocked which is silencing of that gene will take place and its complementarity mrna may come from infection by rna virus or the troposomes which is the mobile genetic elements and rna i exists naturally in the eukaryotes as a method of cellular defense and nematode specific uh, genes which is dna were introduced in the host now introduced dna will form both sense and anti sensory rnas and two strands being complementary to each other will bend and form the double stranded rna leading to the rna i an mrna of the nematode is silenced and the parasite cannot survive in transgenic host applications of biotechnology in medicine so recombinant therapeutics so which will help in the rdt mass production of efficient therapeutic drugs can be accomplished and these are safe and they do not induce unwanted immunological responses and next is genetically engineered insulin so insulin is of great demand due to increase in number of patients with adult onset diabetes nowadays and insulin which is extracted from animal source example the slaughtered cattle and pigs will induce allergy in humans so insulin as a pro enzyme will consist of three peptide chains which is a b and pro enzyme insulin which is a mature insulin so mature insulin will consist of only two types of peptide chains which is a and b and both of these chains were separately isolated and introduced introduced into plasmids of e coli to produce the insulin chains and separately produced chain a and b were extracted and combined by creating disulfide bonds to form a mature human insulin and next is the gene therapy which is an attempt to deal with the genetic or the cognitional diseases congenital diseases so this will aim at correction of the genetic disease by dif, uh, i mean delivering the normal gene into an individual or the embryo to take over or to compensate the function for a non functional gene so il en agutte ond embryo ge normal functional gene anna introduce madustare to compensate the non functional gene 
Now, first disease to have a gene therapy is ADA, which is adenosine, uh, sorry, adenosine deaminase deficiency, which is the gene coding for the enzyme ADA will get deleted, leading to the deficiency of the ADA and problems in the immune system. So, ADA deficiency can also be treated by bone marrow transplantation and enzyme replace replacement therapy. So, gene therapy for ADA deficiency, how is it done? Lymphocytes isolated from the patient's bloods are cultured in vitro and within the laboratory techniques, it is not in vivo. And functional D ADA, cDNA are then introduced into the cultured lymphocytes and these lymphocytes are returned back to the patient's body. And lymphocytes are not immortal, therefore repeated infusion of genetically engineered lymphocytes is required and permanent cure for this is introduction of genes isolated from the bone marrow cells which will produce ADA into cells at earlier embryonic stages. Now next is the molecular diagnosis wherein recombinant DNA technologies PCR, ELISA which is enzyme link immunosorbent assay are some of the technologies of molecular diagnosis. So now early diagnosis of bacteria and virus in the body when concentration is extremely low can be done by PCR since it is going to amplify the DNA into several folds. Now PCR is used to detect HIV virus and suspected AIDS patients and mutations in genes in suspected cancer patients and ELISA is based on the antigen antibody interactions wherein in the presence of an antigen the antibody produced against it can be detected easily. Now hybridization with a radioactive probe, so in this approach gene is hybridized with a radioactive probe and then autoradiography is used for detection and the regions where mutation is present in the gene will not appear in the photographic film since probe will not be able to bind with that part. So this is how this technique is done and transgenic animals and biopiracy. So, transgenic animals, how are these done? Animals that have their DNA manipulated to possess or to express an extra gene are called the transgenic animals. And till date, transgenic rats, rabbits, pigs, sheep, cows and fishes have been produced. Like the mutated rats and the mutated uh, cow uh, breeds are produced. Reasons for producing this is study of normal physiology. So, transgenic animals will serve as models to study genetics, regulation and the down regulation of genes and their corresponding effects on the physiology. So, this will give an information about the biological role of a particular factor in the body. Now, study of diseases. So, the act as modules to study genetic basis of diseases primarily and these studies will aid in finding possible treatments of the diseases and then transgenic models will exist of various human diseases like the cancer, cystic fibrosis and rheumatoid arthritis and algemeris etc. Next is biological products. So, treatment of diseases often require certain products which are expensive to make. So, transgenic animals can be produced that have genes coding for that particular product. Example, human protein alpha 1 antitrypsin used to treat the emphysema is isolated by this method only by the transgenic materials and in 1997 the first transgenic cow Rosie was produced in human protein enriched milk which contained alpha acta albumin and it was nutritionally more suitable for human babies and then vaccine safety tests. So, transgenic mice are used to test vaccines for the safety before they are used on humans. Example, transgenic mice are used to check the polio vaccines. And then chemical safety testing. So, transgenic animals will contain genes which will make them more sensitive to so toxic substances and to non than non-transgenic -trans substances. So, toxicity testing in such animals will help us obtain a re best result in a lesser time. Now next is the ethical issues which are associated with transgenic animals. Indian government has set up an organization GAEC which is Genetic Engineering Approval Committee which will make decisions regarding the validity of the GM research and its use for public utility. And modification which may result in the loss of biological significance of animals cannot go beyond regulations. 
and unpredictable results may be observed if these organisms are introduced into natural ecosystem and patents for the transgenic varieties also create problems as many indigenous varieties are claimed by multinational companies as their own inventions. For example, new variety of basma basmati was claimed by an American company through patenting. So, this new variety was actually derived from the Indian farmers by crossing Indian basmati with the swemi dwarf varieties. Now, similarly, neem and turmeric which have been used for ages in our Indian medicines are also the matters of dispute in the patent rights. Now, biopiracy. So, use of bioresources by MNCs and other organizations without proper authorization from the countries and people concerned without compensatory payment and then industrialized and developed nations are economically rich but poor in biodiversity while opposite prevails to the developing nations. Therefore, developed countries will exploit traditional knowledge and resources of poor countries for their commercialization. And this is a matter of injustice since inadequate compensation and benefit sharing is given to the poor countries in return and steps should be taken by the developing countries to prevent this exploitation. Now, Indian parliament has recently introduced second amendment of Indian patents bill to idealize these issues. Thank you. <music>